Okay. I'm Joe Coletta, Captain Bluefield Fire Department. Uh, it's an honor being part of this. Uh, I, this is, in my opinion, is the most important event of your graduating season because uh, this is probably the only event that could feasibly save a life. All right, so I want everyone to take this seriously. I know it's good to get out of class for a little bit and be outside, especially after the last couple days. But during this presentation, please keep the talking down. You're more than welcome to take pictures, take videos, post about it. But just pay attention, watch what happens around you. Uh, it wasn't that long ago I was here standing in the same spot, maybe down the street a little bit, uh, you know, watching the same exact event. And I remember, I came into it thinking, ah, you know, this is nonsense. And I left with a totally different perspective on what could happen if you drink and drive. And I remember leaving with a totally different perspective on drinking and driving because as much as you're in school and you keep hearing a message and don't drink and drive, when you see it and you see the after effects, it takes on a totally new meaning. So I want everyone to pay attention and really, you know, let this sink into you. Uh, you're all about to experience the most important four to five years of your life. What you do in that time is going to shape the rest of your life, whether you, whether you know it or not. Whether you go to college, military, right into the workforce, you've hit a point that every one of you is now in control of your future. Uh, you don't have anybody telling you what to do like you have the first 17, 18 years of your life. I assume most of you have a driver's license here. All right? That little piece of plastic has given you a large amount of something. Something that makes this country the greatest country in the world. And that's freedom. All right? But with freedom comes responsibility. You're not little kids anymore. There's no more detention or staying after school when you don't do the, wrong, the, the, I'm sorry, the right thing. Mom and dad aren't holding your hand anymore. Your decisions over the rest of your life will now have real consequences and big consequences. All right, so I'm gonna focus on one thing today, which is gonna be drinking and driving. I want you to remember one very important thing. If you do it, if you drink and drive, you have a great chance of ruining your life. I know that probably sounds crazy, but it's the truth. All right, with prom and graduation and parties and summer, I guarantee you there's going to be plenty of opportunities for you to ruin your life. All right, make the smart decisions. Don't do it. All right, I'm going to give you some facts. Teen alcohol use kills almost 5,000 people every year. Car crashes are the leading cause of death for teens. Almost 3,000 teens die a year in automobile crashes. 25% of those involved an underage drunk driver. Let's say you're lucky enough to not die. A first offense D DUI, driving under the influence charge, is up to 30 days in jail. So remember that newfound freedom that you have? You can say bye to it. A $500 fine and a license suspension of up to one year. Knowingly driving while drunk, getting into an accident, and killing a passenger constitutes manslaughter. That carries an additional five to 20 years in prison. All right, so this is serious stuff here. You know, we're not doing this just to scare you. We're going to show you that this is reality. So I'm going to start the presentation. Uh, this is probably different than any other traffic safety program you've ever seen in the past. Uh, you're going to hear and see exactly what the victims of a crash uh, are going to experience during and after. It's going to be in real time as it would in a real situation. drinking and wearing a seatbelt, but on impact, he still hit the steering wheel. His body was thrown forward with the airbag and seatbelt absorbing most of the forces involved in the crash. The extent of his injuries is still going to be determined.
the CPR on the victim in the back. The EMS will now work on the victim in the front seat. Now that the fire department has opened the door. Thank you. 